Hi friends, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Today we will discuss the mass action law in semiconductors. But before uh, discussing the definition of mass action law, uh, I will explain it to you in simple words. If I have uh, an intrinsic semiconductor, an intrinsic semiconductor means a pure form of semiconductor and I dope it with the n type of impurities that is the pentavalent impurities then the number of electrons present in the conduction band will increase while the number of holes in the valence band will decrease in comparison to the number of electrons and holes that were present in the intrinsic semiconductor before doping in the same way, if I dope the intrinsic semiconductor with p-type of impurities, that is the trivalent uh, impurities, then the number of holes present in the valence band will increase, while the number of electrons present in the conduction band will decrease. In comparison to the number of electrons and holes that were present in the intrinsic semiconductor before. So why this happens actually? is because the rate of recombination increases due to the presence of a large number of free electrons or holes after doping okay so now let's see the statement of mass action law the definition of mass action law is under thermal equilibrium for any semiconductor the product of number of holes and number of electrons is constant okay and it is independent of the amount of donor and acceptor impurity doping this is known as the mass action law this is the mathematical representation of this mass action law that is the product of number of electrons and the number of holes is constant that is equals to n i square okay this is the intrinsic n i is the intrinsic uh, concentration and n and p are concentrations of uh, electrons and holes per unit volume so the product of these uh, electrons and number of electrons and holes is always constant that is equals to n i square equals to the square of the intrinsic concentration and not only this it is independent of the amount of donor and acceptor impurity doping if you keep on increasing the acceptor or donor uh, atoms that is p type of or n type uh, of impurities even then the product will remain constant okay here in this formula n is the number of free electrons per unit volume p is the number of free holes per unit volume and ni is the intrinsic concentration we have discussed it so this is the mass action law statement okay for semiconductors in the next video we will see more such uh, concepts hope you like the video thanks for watching friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it see you soon in the next video till then bye bye